This tutorial demonstrates how to create color, chart, dot density, 3D, and size thematic maps. Thematic maps illustrate the characteristics of map features according to values in one or more data fields. First, make the layer to which you want to add the theme the working layer by right-clicking on it here in the Display Manager and choosing Make Working Layer. To add a color theme to the layer, click the Color Theme Map Wizard button. Choose the field that contains the data you want to map. In this case, I'll choose Total Sales and click OK. Maptitude creates a color theme based on the total sales values and applies it to the map. Now you can clearly see which territories have the highest and lowest sales. There are many ways that you can customize a color theme. For example, you could change the method for creating the classes, change the number of classes, or even specify the exact values of the classes by clicking Customize. Then enter low and high values for each class, or, in this case, I'll use the Step method, change the initial value to 4 million, and create steps at 1 million intervals. I only need 7 classes for my data, so I'll change the number of classes to 7. Click the Styles tab, then click Previous or Next to change the color ramp or choose Start and End Colors from the drop-down lists. To create a chart theme, click the Chart Theme Map Wizard. Choose one or more fields to include in the charts. For example, I'll choose the four quarterly sales fields, and choose the type of chart and other settings. Just like with color themes, you can customize a chart theme. In this case, let's make the width wider and click OK. Now you can clearly see how the quarterly sales vary in each territory. Sales increased steadily here, stayed relatively flat here, and decreased a little here. To create a 3D theme, make sure that an area layer is the working layer and click the 3D Theme Map Wizard button. Choose the field on which to base the heights. Your 3D theme will also include a color theme to further highlight the height differences. If you want, you can choose to use a different field for the color theme, or choose none to use the same field. Choose whether to use all features in the layer or just the visible ones, and optionally add a header or footer. On the Options tab, you can choose the angles at which to view the 3D theme, Choose whether to show the chart axis, and choose to use logarithmic scaling. And on the Styles tab, you can choose the color ramp by clicking Next and Previous until you find one you like. Maptitude displays the 3D theme in a separate figure window and displays the 3D controls. You can use the spinners to change the viewing angles, the height, or the scale. You can also use the tools to make changes to the 3D theme. For instance, I can rotate the map with this one, or I can zoom in and zoom out with this tool. Now let's go back to the original map. I'm going to hide the territory layer and turn on the county layer to demonstrate dot density and size themes. First, I'll make the county layer the working layer by right-clicking on it and choosing Make Working Layer. And click the Dot Density Theme Map Wizard. Choose one or more fields and click OK. You can filter the list here. For example, I'm going to type Occupied, and then choose the Owner and Renter Occupied fields. Maptitude adds the theme to the map. In this case, each green dot represents 20,000 renter occupied units and each blue dot represents 20,000 owner-occupied housing units. Areas with many housing units have more dots. You can also customize a dot density theme. For example, you can change the value here to have more or fewer dots. I'll make each dot represent 10,000 units now. And you can change the style of the dots here. I'm going to change the color and size of these dots. and click this button so that all the dots will be the same size. 
I'm going to open the Dot Density Map Wizard one more time and click Remove to remove the theme from the map. And finally create a size theme by clicking the Size Theme Map Wizard button. Choose the field to use for the theme. For point layers, the icon will vary in size, and for line layers, the line width will vary in size. In this case, since the theme is on an area layer, you can click the Style tab and choose an icon and color to use for the theme. I'll click OK to use the defaults here. Again, let's customize this theme a little. Let's change the smallest size to 2 points and the largest size to 50 points. Now our size theme is a little easier to read and you can clearly see which counties have the highest populations. And that wraps up this tutorial on Map to Do Themes.